New tonight at 11, Roanoke City Council voted unanimously on an effort to extend the Roanoke River Greenway potentially through the use of eminent domain. Council has authorized staff to seize the land in dispute from the company that owns it, Walker Foundry, if a deal can't be reached. This is a big move for Council. WSLS 10's Rob Manch is live on the Greenway near that disputed portion of land this evening. So Rob, this is just the latest development of what has been a very long dispute between the Foundry and the city. Yeah, the dispute is actually over a section of the Greenway that I'm standing on right now near Bridge Street with the foundry saying that heavy industrial work and a running trail just don't mix, but the city saying that the trail would not affect the business. Now, like you said, tonight the city took a power move in those negotiations by putting eminent domain on the table, but not before hearing from people on both sides of the discussion. Monday evening's meeting was filled with people praising the Greenway's success. I support the Greenways wholeheartedly. My wife uses the Greenway about 10 hours, 10, 12 hours a month. Guy Bird, with a nonprofit that supports the trail, says that's because so many believe in the long term vision. The day we can go from Green Hill Park in Salem to Explore Park is going to be wonderful. But to do that, the trail would have to go right past this active foundry. Some think that would be the end for the company. And I love the Greenway, and I love to bike, and I would love for it to be as long as possible. But I think to put a 100-year-old business and 60 people possibly out of work is sort of morally reprehensible. Suzanne Osborne says the foundry doesn't currently comply with regulations from the Virginia DEQ, and it doesn't have to because it's been grandfathered. That might change if its physical footprint were decreased by a trail unless regulators look the other way. And if the EPA will give the city a written guarantee of that, then that solves everything because we can put the greenway in, Walker Foundry would be grandfathered, nobody loses their job. But advocates for the Greenway extension don't buy that argument. I miss the part where, because there's a Greenway right over there on the edge by the river, how that would cause people to lose their jobs. I just miss that part. Uh, I'm not persuaded that that's a valid argument. Bird also cautions that if the city council doesn't work quickly, federal grant money for the trail might be dead in the water. Osborne says she just hopes for an ending that works for everyone. Maybe it'll work out. I mean, we all hope it does. We all hope it does to the, to the good of everybody. Well, council says it does intend to continue those negotiations with the foundry to try to find a solution that does not include seizing the land. And right now, the city's offering the foundry a little over $70,000 for that property. In Roanoke, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.